Hi, it's Miss Sheila from the Palmyra Community Library. I'm here for another virtual story time. Hooray, hooray! Um, we're going to start with um, Mr. Perky Bird. So everyone, um, you can get out your fingers. I'm going to show you Mr. Perky Bird, but I'm going to do mine, Mr. Perky Bird. Good morning, Mr. Perky Bird. Perky Bird, Perky Bird. Good morning, Mr. Perky Bird. Where are you? I'm flying in the air, the air, the air, the air, the air, the air. I'm flying in the air, the air. Where are you? Boo! Let's do that again. Good morning, Mr. Perky Bird. Perky Bird, Perky Bird. Good morning, Mr. Perky Bird. Where are you? I'm flying in the air, the air, the air, the air, the air, the air. I'm flying in the air, the air. Where are you? Boo! Yay! Um, I want you to grab, uh, snuggle up with a blanket or your doll and your doll and your little stuffy. And I have a couple really great stories to read to you today. Um, they're about owls. And the reason I wanted to do owls today is because... We are having an owl prowl in a couple weeks on a Tuesday night. So it's not this tonight, but it's in a week from Tuesday. We're meeting at the library in the evening, and we're going to walk to the Palmyra Cemetery, and we're going to poke around, and we're going to try to hear an owl or maybe see an owl. We have some recordings where we're going to call owls in, to, um, in, so maybe we'll see some. So this is an oldie but goodie, and it's called Cockadoodle. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Is that a cute owl? He's in the chicken hat pen. Hen house. What is she? What is that chicken? What is that owl doing in there? There's a pretty end paper. And the author is Mick Manning and Britta Grandstrom. The end paper. It looks like it's a it looks like it's a rainy, rainy night. Wait, is the moon moon full too? It looks like it. It's a rainy night at the farm. Let's see what happens to these chickens and how they get an owl in there. Cockadoodle. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Looks like he might be scared. Maybe the rain is scaring him. One stormy night, an owl walked into the farmyard. He was cold, lost, and lonely, and no place to go. So he squeezed in a hole in a shed and was warm and cozy in there, and he fell fast asleep. Wait a minute, that's not the shed, is it? That's the hen house. So he's sleeping all, oh, and look at the hens hugging him. Isn't that so sweet? I just love that. Oh, those little hands, they're so nice. In the morning, Owl woke to a nip and a pit pinch. He heard clucking and squawking and he was surrounded by bony feet and beady eyes. Yikes, he was in the hen house. <laughs> bony feet and beady eyes, that's a great description of these chicks, isn't it? These chickens, they're like, what is this owl doing in our hen house? He's no hen. He's no rooster. We need a rooster. Who said owl. One, what a shame. We could give him a try. Oh, are they going to let him stay? They're going to give him a try and let him stay. Can he peck like a rooster? Asked one bossy hen. Owl tried to peck. And it goes across like this and it says, nope, nope. The hens awarded him no pe no points for pecking. Can he scratch like a rooster? Owl tried to scratch. No points for scratching. <coughs> Excuse me. Can he cock a doo doo, -doo like a rooster? Owl tried to cock a doo doo, -doo and he went. Ooh. No points for cock a doo doo dooing. Excuse me. <coughs> there, I had a little tickle on my nose there. I had to get it out. So let's see how this owl stays in. What a clown, he's a loser. He'll have to go. Ooh, ooh, cried Owl sadly. He liked the warm, cozy hen house and the yard dappled with some spring sunshine. But the speckled hen put her bony wings around her. I'll teach you how to be a rooster, she said. She clucked actually. I think they're gonna give him a try. So let's see what happens. And she did. Learn, owl learned to march up and down. Can you take your feet and march, 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 march? She also taught him to guard the hen house. And here he is. That's a good idea. Hens need a guard. 
And lastly, she taught him to puff out his feathers. He was doing very well. And finally, until the other hen said, try and cock a doo, -doo, doo they said. And Owl tried very hard. He tried his very best, but he was just an owl after all. And he just hooted like an owl. The other hens were not impressed. And he's like, hoo, hoo, hoo. This is what this says right here, hoo. And the owls are saying, you googly eyes, roosters must cock a doo, doo doo All he does is who? What sort of egg did you hatch out of anyway, you square owl? Oh, a square one. He didn't call him a square owl. A square egg. Uh, that must be an insult for chickens, huh? Well, owl just crossed. Got cross, which means he got very angry. He had had enough. He was hungry and fed up with these silly hens. So he said, I'm an owl, not a fowl. Owls aren't hens. We hoot in the moonlight. We don't peck corn and catch. We catch... Hmm. What do owls catch? Let's see. Rats! Squawked a hen, peeking into the hen house. Yeah, it's a rat. It's going to get the baby chicks. Oh, no, oh, no. A rat, a rat in the hen house. Looks like he's getting a bit, he's breaking the eggs and he's eating all their food. Oh, what do owls like to catch? Oh, a rat is stealing eggs and eating corn and chasing the chicks. When the owl heard this, he picked up his ears, his ears, and he flexed his sharp claws. <sighs> he went. And he stretched out his soft wing. And then silently, as a floating feather, he flew across the hen house. <gasps> what do you think he's going to do? Let's look and see. And snip, snap, he caught that rat and gobbled it right up. And the rat was tasty and delicious. And the rats were speechless. <gasps> Surprise, he's an owl. They fussed around Owl in a flurry of feathers and clucks. Hooray, hooray, they shouted. The Owl puffed up his chest and swaggered and shouted, cock a doo doo hoo hoo cock a doo doo hoo hoo And the hens were saying nice things to like him, like, oh, you are very, you are our very own special rooster, our beautiful Google-eyed rooster, our hero, our rat-catching Owl. Yay, he saved them. And there he is. I think they accepted him, accepted him into their flock. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? I love him marching with them. And that's the end. I love that story. It's so cute. I have a little owl rhyme that I would like to teach you guys. And it goes like this. So first you want to do this. This is your owl eyes. There's a wide-eyed owl. A wide-eyed owl. With a pointy nose. Oop, nose first. A pointy nose. You could do this or this. A pointy nose. He has pointy ears and claws for his toes. Show me your clawed toes. He sits in a tree. So he can sit like this where he sits in a tree and he looks at you. He flaps his wings and says, whoo, whoo, whoo. So let's try it. There's a wide-eyed owl with a pointy nose. He has pointy ears and claws for his toes. He sits in a tree. I like to do this. He sits in a tree and he looks at you. He flaps his wings and says, hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> Good job. Let's do the two little dicky birds. Two little dicky birds sitting in a cloud. The other name loud. Fly away, soft bird. Fly away, loud bird. Come back, soft bird. Come back, loud bird. Yay. Let's do that one more time. Two little dicky birds sitting in a cloud. One name soft. The other name loud. Fly away, soft bird. Fly away, loud bird. Come back, soft bird. Come back, loud bird. Yay! I just love that song. Roll, roll, roll your arms as fast as fast can be. Do it now and let me see. Do it now with me. Clap, clap, clap your hands as loud as loud can be. Do it now and let me see. Do it now with me. Tap, tap, tap your toes as soft as soft can be. Do it now and 
let me see you do it now with me. Now shake your feet. Shake, shake, shake your feet as fast as fast can be. Do it now and let me see you do it now with me. Roll, roll, roll your arms as slow, as slow can be. Do it now and let me see. Do it now with me. Good job. I do have another story to read to you. And it's called, this is a great, this book has great illustrations. It's called, Hooray for Today! And guess who's a character? An adorable owl with glasses. And the author is Brian Wong. Hooray for today! Can you see that go? Hooray for today! Hip, hip, hooray! Oh, and look at those pretty, pretty end papers. Really colorful, isn't it? That's an indication how colorful. <gasps> oh, and look at the animals peeking in the back on the back end papers. Mm, that's giving us an idea of what animals are going to be in here. Oh, what a spectacular cover. Hooray for today! Hooray for today! I'm wide awake and ready to place it all. This is going to be a good, good day. And let's say, hooray for today! Hooray for today! She packed up her toys and set off to find her friends. Ooh, it looks like it's going to be a fun day. But wait a minute. Owls are nocturnal. And what time of day is it? It's nighttime because the moon is out. Let's see who she can find. Owl knocked on Elephant's door. And she said, Hooray for today! Can you help us? Hooray for today, said Owl. I have my hat. Would you like to play? Wait a minute. Elephant looks like he's going to bed. He has his hat on his bedtime cap. He's got a little dark circles under his eyes. He looks like he's about to fall asleep. Uh, but Elephant did not want to play. Not now. Oh, I'm sleepy. So Owl tucked Elephant back in and whispered, maybe another day. Good night, Elephant. Can you tell Elephant night now, Elephant? Good night. And then Owl found Zebra. And guess what Owl said? Hooray for today! I have my trumpet. Would you like to play? Wait a minute. What does Zebra have? Looks like Zebra has his blankie. I don't think Zebras are nocturnal. But Zebra did not want to play. Not now. Oh, I'm sleepy. So Owl tooted a little lullaby and whispered, Maybe another day. Sleep tight, Owl. Night, night, owl. Or excuse me, night, night, zebra. I don't think zebra's enjoying the lullaby, do you? <laughs> so it looks a little loud. Then owl found turtle. And owl said, guess what? Hooray for today! Hooray for today! I have balloons. Would you like to play? Do you think owl to, turtle's going to want to play? But Turtle did not want to play. Not now. Oh, I'm sleepy. So Owl rocked Turtle to sleep and whispered, maybe another day. Sweet dreams, Turtle. Say night, night, Turtle. Sweet dreams. <laughs> I hope Turtle doesn't float away. Then Owl found Giraffe. And guess what he said to Giraffe? Hooray for today! Look at our Giraffe looks a little surprised, doesn't he? I have some books to read. Would you like to play? So guess what? Giraffes are not nocturnal. Oh, I'm not now. I'm too sleepy. So I'll read a story to Giraffe. Maybe another day. Night, night, Giraffe. Night, night, Giraffe. When I will find Lion, Lion, she couldn't hoot a single word before Lion growled, not now, I'm sleepy. So Owl whispered, maybe another day. Rest well, Lion, and she tiptoed away. Owl's not having very good luck, is she? Owl shouted up into the night, hoo, hoo, hooray 
for today. She's not letting those animals spoil her fun. Can anyone come out to play? And look at, it looks like no one's ready to play. Looks like everyone's asleep. But wait a minute, is the sun coming up? Let's see what happens. Oh, there might be a little firefly there. See him right there, see the little firefly? It's like, I'll play with you. Let's see. Today was a bad, bad day, Owl said. Nobody wants to play. Finally, the sun came up and she walked back home. Aw, poor Owl. What do you see peeking? Do you see the pants? It looks like there's gonna surprise mommy on the way. Where her friends were waiting. Good morning, Owl, they shouted. Would you like to play? And guess what Owl said? Oh, not now, I'm sleepy. But after my nap. <laughs> Hooray, let's play, said Owl. That's a great story. I love the colors in that story. All the illustrations and pictures. And there's elephant on the back sleeping away. Would you like to play? And the elephant's like, no way, I'm sleeping. <laughs> That's a cute story. Um, really quick before we do our, well, why don't you grab a rattle? So if you don't have a rattle, you can um, use get a toilet paper holder and put some rice in it and have your adult tape both ends really tight or anything that makes a noise. You can use a bell or anything you might have, but when you shake, it makes a noise. So let's sing our songs. We shake our rattles together. We shake our rattles together. We shake our rattles together because it's fun to do. We shake our rattles together. We shake our rattles together. We shake our rattles together because it's fun to do. We shake our rattles up. Ah. We shake our rattles down low. We shake them in the middle. We shake our rattles together. We shake our rattles together. We shake our rattles together because it's fun to do. We shake our rattles up. Ah. We shake our rattles down low. We shake them in the middle. Shake your rattles, follow me, follow me, follow me. Shake your rattles, follow me, and put them on your head. Can you put your rattle on your head? <laughs> Shake your rattles, follow me, follow me, follow me. Shake your rattles, follow me, and put them on your shoe toe or your shoe. Shake your rattles, follow me, follow me, follow me. Shake your rattles, follow me, and put them on your shoulder. When you're going to do your shoulder, put your rattle straight ahead of you. Cross over and put it on the shoulder that's opposite of the hand that's holding the rattle. So you're going to want to go across your center body, the center of your body. Good job. Shake your shakers in the air. Shake them here. Shake them there. Shake your shakers in the air. Shake your shakers. Shake them high and shake them low. Shake them yes, shake them no. Shake them high, put your voice high and shake them low. Shake your shakers. Shake them up and shake them down. Rub your shaker on the ground. Shake them up, now shake them down. Shake your shakers. Shake them near and shake them far. 
Drive your shaker like a car. Beep, beep, beep. Shake them near and shake them far. Shake your shaker. Hang on tight. Shake them fast. Now shake them slow. Shake them stop. Shake them go. Shake them fast. Now shake them slow. Shake your shakers. Do you know the Muffin Man? Let's sing that song. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. The Muffin Man. Do you know the Muffin Man? Who lives on Dreary Lane? Why, yes, I know. The Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin Man who lives on Dreary Lane. Shake your rattles up. Shake your rattles down low. Shake them in the middle. Rattles away, rattles away. Put your rattles away today. Rattles away, rattles away. Put your rattles away today. Yay, that was so much fun. Thank you so much for your time. Before we do our lullaby, I'm just gonna show you the craft that we have out today, this week, that you can stop by the library and grab. Um, that is a reminder, the library is open, so you're welcome to stop by any time. Um, the bag's gonna be in a little bag like this. This is what it's gonna look like at the end. Let me show you what's inside the bag. First you have the directions and they have it typed in here so nicely. There's two little heart-shaped feet for the owl's claws or talons. There is one bigger heart which is for his nose and two flower eyeballs and then um, two wings. And you clip those, or you um, glue those all attached to the owl's body. This one is yellow. They're all different colors. And then when you're all done, there's Google Eyes in the bag that you can glue right on over the flower. So they're going to look like this. They're so cute. And um, there's a reminder of our YouTube channel also in there, like this. And the directions are in here. And also a picture of the owl so you can see what the owl looks like if you um, kind of forget what it looks like. So, and you're welcome to share your owl craft when you're all done so we can see what it looks like. Because I know that this is kind of a sample of what it looks like, but I know that everyone does a little bit different and they always look so great. So we'd love to see them. Um, before we say our lullaby, I wanted to remind you that this week at the library starting our uh, grab and go summer lunches. So you can stop by the library, I'll be out in the gazebo and I'll get you a lunch with a drink. And you get to take that home and eat it, or you can sit in our, if you have a, a, a blanket or something, you can sit in our front yard and um, eat it. On Wednesday, starting at 11 o'clock, we're going to do a grab-and-go bear hunt kit. And what's inside of that is a couple crafts, which include um, a craft to make a little lantern that um, with a light up light inside that you can take it on outside at night for a little bear hunt at night. And also, when you go in the woods and it's dark out, you might need a light or if you go into a bear cave. Also, there's like a little kit so you can make your own pom-pom bear. It's really cute. And um, a couple other little surprises in there. So um, you can stop by and pick that up on Wednesdays at 3 o'clock. Or excuse me, at 11 o'clock. It starts at 11. And they're first come, first serve so in, well, they're, until they're gone. And also, I wanted to remind you on Thursday mornings at 1030, we're meeting out back if the weather's good or we'll meet upstairs on the third floor for a preschool story time. So please come on in. It's for all age story time. It's, it'll be great to see you guys and um, we do miss you so much. So come on in and visit us. So with all that information, keep in mind, um, give yourself a great big hug or grab your adult and give them a great big hug or get your stuffy. And let's sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, 
like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Good job. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Or stop by the library. Have a good day. Bye-bye.